Hello, Malcolm. Hello, everyone else. Well, hopefully this is all working properly. I'm going to assume that it is. Welcome back to Underrail. <sighs> back a little earlier in the day today. It's a rainy day here on my little island. Took the dog to the park this morning. We got nicely damp and dirty. So she's spreading little mud stains around the house. We just went for our 11 a.m. walk. And it was damp and rainy. So she's wetly lurking on the couch while she's drying off. I didn't put any heat on, but I did go ahead and waste some power on turning on incandescent lights around the place, because there's still some incandescence here and there. And I think making enough background heat to actually make it fairly comfortable. So, okay, I can come on a stealth. There's nothing to hide from except the guns. So I got two options here. Either I can go back and try to get some rigadoons to beat those guns with, or I can try dumping all our captured weapons into the guns. I am going to whip over here one more time. Have a quick look-see-boo, because... No, there's nothing. I thought there might be a secret there. There isn't. Maybe there's a secret somewhere else here. I don't know. Just, that looks very secretish, doesn't it? Well, anyway. Not so much luck. Back. I think we're going to go ahead and make a back save. Well, not a back back save. I'm not that panicky yet. But we'll make that save. And then we'll just run quick saves. We're going to head back to town. Via the relatively safe route that we've already gone, right? And we're going to try to just pick up some anti-turret supplies, whatever they might be. And come back. And hopefully the dogs haven't turned up again. They just come pouring out of nowhere, those dogs. It's literally, you leave for five minutes, the dogs are back. So if we if we do this and the dogs are back, then uh, might try to fight them, but might much more likely... Hey, dog. No, seriously, dog. Thank you. Might more likely, uh, you know, reload and try it the other way. We'll see. But it's true, we're also carrying a fair wallop of treasure. Have I unloaded all the captured weapons? Not completely. Let's pull every bullet out of them. Sell them separately, right? Okay. Let's top off our stack here. Uh, I don't know if I'll bother fabric repairing anything. Well, actually, those boots are worth quite a bit. I'll fabric repair those. Yeah, okay, good enough. And we're not probably going to waste any mech repair kits unless we've got... Something really expensive. The MP6 is so sweet, but we're not a submachine gun guy. So, whatevs, right? Okay, I'm wasting a lot of time, and the longer I waste, the more likely those cursed dogs come back. You got any anti-turret junk, buddy? Oh, you've got some cloth. Oh, my. It's a little too high quality for us, eh? Same with that zap module, a bit out of range. Uh, we're not going to worry about other stuff. I just want anti... anti-gun stuff. Okay, do we sell our caltrops? We'll sell the regular ones, keep the poisoned ones. They're probably worth something. We'll sell these 9 mil barrels. Like, we have more back at base, right? And we're probably going to get more, so we'll sell the 9 mil barrels. Uh, you know, HE's good against guns, but... I think it's what we want. We can come back and get the HE if it's what we want, or if there's nothing else good. It's better against armor than frags are, of course. Although tungsten ball would be even better. But you can't, you know, you can't get everything in life. Alright, let's see if Len has anything hot for us, eh? Let's hope so. I don't want to travel far. He doesn't have any fancy rounds. Oh, we need regular rounds. I'm going to be buying those. Good lord, eh? Um, I don't see any EM... Ah, golly, the menus are really messing with me here. I don't see any EM pulse grenades for sale either. You. Oh, my god. He will buy firearms, so we're going to sell the MP6. It's worth a bundle. How many? He's buying three, so let's just pick out the highest price stuff. So I don't think we're keeping any of these guns. Yeah, that shotgun's worth a buck. Uh, I don't think we're going to beat 3,000 on anything else, eh? No, I think 
that's the one. So three of those, he's buying those fancy boots. We'll get rid of these units here. We'll get rid of all our... Oh, 44 tungstens. Makes me want a 44 pistol real bad. We're not going to be a pistol specialist. So we're just going to lose a bunch of this stuff. We'll just dump it. Is he buying two belts? Beautiful. Oh, these were probably worth more. Oh, they were, too. Or this one is, so... Actually, they both are. So we'll pull out those two. And then we'll pick the ones that are worth less. So that one's worth less. It's because the value goes in half. Oh, those both suck. So we'll put that one back. So we did get one little boost there. Hope he has enough money to pay us for all this stuff. Not quite. He doesn't quite have enough. Alright, in that case, I'll take an HE Mark II off him, right? That puts it back into his park, so I'll just go ahead and purchase. That gets rid of a little weight and gives us a really fat bunch of money. I'll check these scavengers for grenades. Probably not going to get any. We've got some lower quality black cloth we're totally grabbing, right? We're getting towards having some armor parts. We need those batteries super badly. I'm not going to bother with electronic repair kits just yet. He is not buying deedly, so we end up spending quite a bit, but I do want that cloth. I'll take your battery. Uh, none of the rest of this stuff looks too attractive. He's buying all sorts of knives and such. We're keeping our machete. So how many knives he buying? Three. So we'll sell him one, two, and we'll also sell him number three. There, all the electric knives can go to him. These bolts can go to him. Is he buying them all? He's buying them all. Sorry about the menus flashing everywhere. It's the resolution, man. The menus fit way better in the screen at higher resolution. You don't get these, like, blasting huge explosions of menu. It's okay. We'll, we'll live with it. We'll live with it. Something I noticed in the recordings is that all the red-colored writing turns blurry. That I don't understand. So, just a battery off him, eh? That's all. Okay. Well, we get some money. Good. Makes up for pretty much exactly what we spent at the other place. So now, I guess I'll try the electronics shop. I feel like every screen I go through and every moment I use up is a higher chance of those filthy dogs being back, but we're just going to live with it. You know, I think I should put my uh, machete back on and probably charge it. So, switch over to it and then just hit the button. And it's full, because it has like a miniature charge pack on it. It's it's a puny weapon. It is a puny weapon. We'll probably start looking for upgrade stuff for it, too. But not... Oh, we will need an electronic repair kit for our machete. We'll get to. They're going to be expensive. Those are expensive. We're also going to get a bunch more batteries, because you really can't have enough. Like, there's never a... No, there's never no point to buying batteries. As to upgrading our weapon, oh man, that's probably bang on our skill level, eh? All right, I'll get that. I'll get another rifle scope, unless we can use the super high res scope, but I don't think we're close to it yet. Actually, yeah, I won't bother with the rifle scope, and I won't bother upgrading the weapon either. We're gonna wait. We're like we're just gonna wait. She'll buy that plasma discharger and that adaptive lens. We will sell those to her. And we're still spending 78. She has no EMP grenades. Although she has all kinds of nice things that we might want. Alright, see if Fixer has any. And then the last stop is Colton over by the docks. After that, we'd have to go back to home base. Which might end up being how it goes. Go ahead and buy his flame blasters. I'm not going to buy anything else off him. That's going to cost me all oh, the pain of that. You know, with mercantile skill, we'd already have that price down to uh, something like 45 or 47 or whatever. We're getting wrecked. That's okay. That's okay. We're not going to end up being a rich character, I guess. I'll try to be more conservative with money than usual. Usually I'm pretty spendy when it comes to crafting. 
going to try to restrain my spending hand with the crafting goodies. Because good, good parts that fit your skill profile are often very hard to find. So when you see them, it's tempting to snatch them, but you can waste a ton of money having parts that you end up not using, right? So you're not buying anything. What a big fat jerk. Ooh, do we want to start collecting tack vest pieces? Yep. It's quality 40. I think we'll wait. Try try and get a better quality. Please have a zap grenade. No, he's got a flame grenade. That's great. He's got two Mark II frags. That's great. We'll take them too, actually. Take some lockpicks off him. Yeah, this is a disaster zone. We're going to end up having to go back, eh? He doesn't have any fancy 9 mil rounds either. Okay, spend the money. Oh my god, okay, quick save. We are gonna have to go all the way back. Cause I, I want some sap grenades to get those damn uh, guns with, but I'm pretty sure the dogs will be back now. Oh well, I bought a lot more flame grenades. I'll just pick up more 9mm rounds, right? Step one off to the armory. Come on, robot. <laughs> Step one off to the armory, see if he's got any tungstens and uh, maybe hollow points for us. Boo, Lucas. Um, he got two tungstens. We'll buy another 40 regular rounds. We're just, we're gonna need them. Uh, he doesn't have anything hot. He's got HE Mark 1s. Oh, what a mess. He's buying lots of stuff. How many crossbows are you buying? Three crossbows. We have two to sell, so those get sold. Two firearms, so look for the high price. 2700, 2400, those will be the two right there. Um, we got nothing else to sell him, but at least we got a buck off him, eh? So we'll take the buck. Done. Alright. Oh, this is dreadful. It's withholding them on purpose, I swear to God. I don't know where else I'm gonna get them. I could try old Jonas. Hey, Ezra, you got any zap grenades, yo? I, oh, five of them. Zounds, what luck. Uh, I don't think I'll buy anything else. That's gonna cost. Oh, that cost. Wait, let's go back. We go. Uh, what kind of shape is there? Blam, blam, in. Uh, it'll hold. We have no tungstens. What a bummer. Well, that means using up a lot more of the other rounds. Oops, wrong level. Could look for some hot leather. Got any hot leather, buddy? Quality 29. Let's see if we can make a sneak jacket. Like, oh no, it's just going to be a piece of junk. You know, there's some antidotes and some more flame grenades. <laughs> you just can't get enough. Especially with our throwing skill level. Alright. Um, I don't want to pay him in Southgate credits. Oh, we've already spent our Southgate credits. Alright then. I'm paying him in Charons. Oh my god, I've gone from 700 odd Charons to 246 on this trip. Do I have crafting junk to drop off? I assume I do. Let's go. You almost always do. So let's go see. Chunk. Crafting. Uh, we'll dump all our scrap. We'll dump that cloth. We'll dump that thing. And we'll dump that. Yeah, that saves us some trouble. I don't think we have any... Ah, uh, we can dump some ammo. I'll, I'll dump off five of those flame blammers. And we'll take this moment to equip our five zap grenades. Where are they? There they are. Oop. Oh, and we have an extra slot. So I'm going to go ahead and toss an HE on there for now. Uh, no, I'll toss frags on there cause if the dogs are back, right? All right. I think we're good. 125 rounds the whole nine yards. Let's get out of here. I don't think you actually have to walk this place. The only thing I've ever seen go through the door is if you get mind control training from Ezra and you take the free training for the first ability, which is um, uh, you know that scanner stuff, cerebral trauma or whatever they call it, neuroblam, whatever they call it. Either way, yeah, there you get teleported to an island and then teleported back inside your locked room. So that's the only thing I've ever seen go through that lock is Ezra's brain powers. And he probably just hypnotized you into doing it yourself, I'd guess. Okay, back we go. Let's hope this isn't a problem for us. <clears throat> Let's hope this isn't a problem for us. Oh, oh boy. Ah, we're a lot.
long way from the next level, too, but we can always go adventuring to level up a bit. There is plenty of adventuring to be done. We're just pushing missions right now. Because you do want to advance the plot um, early on. No, oh, there, there are ways we could find more experience and scrape around right now. I, I frequently do do it that way. Okay, it was Melkor 2 we used for the back save, so I can save in Melkor 1, right? Okay, let's go. I get very savey when I'm facing danger. I'm like that in any video game. I'm like, quick save, 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 quick save without even taking a step in the game, right? Or I'll load the game and then instantly quick save it. I don't know, obsessive weirdo. Basically. Alright. Hop the ladder. Oh, please don't be back, you little demons, right? They probably are. They almost certainly are. I don't even have any traps on me I could plant on them. Oh my god. Shut that door, yo. Foo. Yeah, you gotta keep your place safe, my son. Let's just see what's out here. Oh, I don't see any cursed mutts. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna go around. Um, I'll attack this guy from that way, so let's go back in here. Uh, quick save. We'll go out here, and we will shut it behind us. Those are wise doors to keep shut. We don't have the key to this, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so now we're here, we can attack this thing. I could try the plasma pistol. It does energy damage, half or half of its damage. Let's just take a look at its damage ratings. 19 to 30 energy damage, and the thing doesn't have much energy damage resistance, but the price in batteries is disgusting. Even so, it might do better than the uh, 9 mil. How many batteries did I buy? I mean, we'll get more later. Where are they? Where are the cursed batteries? Batteries, batteries, hello batteries. There they are. What are they doing way up there? 12 batteries. When did batteries go up there? Have they changed the organization, or is it just that I have so little stuff? Okay, so I only have 12 batteries. That does kind of stink hot hogs. Still, I'll take a... Uh, you know, I'll just gotta... Hold off. Hold off. Hold off. That could just be so expensive. Mm-hmm. Alright. Okay, so the thing can completely shoot at us. So... What's my chance on a burst? Oh my god! What a disaster, eh? Okay, we'll take the single shots. It's gonna be a lot more efficient. It looks like I won't have to use a zap bomb just yet on these. I will have to use a zap bomb to get past the other one. I hope I bought enough bullets. This is getting a bit bad. You know, there is an explosive device in between them, as far as my limited knowledge tells me. I've stepped on it before. I'm inclined to set it off. Let's get out that HE right now. Reload our gun. Oh, what a mess. I should have bought more bullets. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna let the round end. I'm gonna quick save. And then I'm going to step out. Okay, there we are. And we're going to throw the HE pretty close to this fellow, I guess. Let's just do that. Yeah, that did some damage. Didn't hurt the other one any. But it gave this guy a nicking. So that's good. We needed to get rid of the bomb anyways. Oh, this is terrible. I really wish I had more psychic abilities and more uh, tungsten bullets. This is terrible. Oh well, the crits are working good, right? Yeah, I'll never get the same hit percentage standing off, so I might as well just stay close. Eventually we'll deploy zap grenades. They will do some damage to these things as well as shorting them, so when we get this thing low, we'll try and kill it with a zap grenade. I really hope I bought enough bullets. We're gonna end up short. Uh, especially with all these zeros. I mean, you'd think I could aim at its little eyeballs a little better, but that's the way it is. Good lord. Uh, terrible, eh? Oh. 
Ah, okay. Time to reload the weapon, eh? Okay, we'll let the round end. Quick save. Do it some more, eh? See if he gets a drop on me. No. Ooh, we got a 90% on him. Oh, we have focus on. Oh, really? So if I let the round end and then step out, will I have focus on? Focused. That has to be a bug. This game doesn't have a lot of bugs, but that has to be a bug. How did I attain focus so quickly, right? Well, it raises my hit probability to 90%, so obviously I'm going to exploit the bug. Oh, this time it didn't work. The round started before I could step out. Okay. So gun spotted my foot coming around the corner, basically. Let's try it again. I wonder if I did this in stealth, right? Okay, that's a quick way to get shot. But it gets me focus. Interesting. Gotta be a bug. I don't think that's intentional on the part of the game. Okay, I'm gonna hit him a couple more times, and then we'll do the zap grenade. So let's step out. God, good thing they don't get the drop on us. Having paranoia is really useful. Okay, I did enough damage. Let's reload the gun. Oh. Okay, we're gonna try the zap grenade now. So I'll do a couple quick saves, we'll step out. Alright, I'll step in and launch, see if I can hit them both, eh? Oh, I completely missed. I'll just have to do that again, eh? Yeah, step out. Step in. Yeah, we have to take some throwing skill. I mean, this is awful, eh? Okay, no, that's not gonna fly. Yeah, we have to take th some throwing skill. I mean, this is ludicrous. Hey, I've got focus. That might give me better throwing probabilities, eh? Hit them both. Okay. It did not destroy the thing, unfortunately. So I'm still gonna have to finish it off. I can wait one turn. It should give me a lot more rounds at it. Oh my god, absolutely nothing. Okay, I better step back. I think they're back in function now. Yeah, they are. Okay, he's gone, so we'll just step out. Step out. And we'll be using up one more of those zap grenades to get through, eh? And we got our grenade back. Okay, we're gonna step right up to here and just try and peg him with it. Good enough, man, good enough. We gotta get around the corner. Get on over here. Zoot, get out of his sight, right? This guy I'll try the plasma pistol with. We're just gonna waste a couple batteries on his buddy. Let's charge that thing. Beep. I'll just throw one battery in at a time, I guess. That's probably gonna be more efficient since we're not, like, in a hot firefight, right? Okay, I've got focus, but I have to step forward to hit him, so... Oh, I missed. That sucks. Come on, let's shoot him. Ha, got him. Still a shot in this thing? Yeah, still a shot in it. Good, got him. Now it's time to recharge the beast. It's doing pretty solid work here, eh? Yeah, I'm quite liking it. Please don't shoot me, Mr. Gun. Dow. Uh, plus, I really like the sound that the plasma gun makes, actually. I, I've never been a user of them much. Usually that sound's only been associated with enemy fire for me. It's pretty satisfying. It's not doing enough damage. But it's pretty satisfying, and it's only cost us a few batteries so far, right? So not actually doing too bad. It's the close range that's giving us the ability to hit the thing. I don't think we're very good with a plasma pistol. But it's pretty hard to miss at this range. Oh, the thing is out of power. Just throw in the charge there. I guess it'll cycle a bit irregularly as it drains its power because its charge bucket isn't exactly the same size as a multiple of its charge deplete. That's something you do when you're crafting electronic weapons. You try to make your power core match battery capacity and so forth as close as you can. Okay, we've fired out the plasma pistol. It's now in uh, below grade condition as you see by this gun here, degraded weapon. Your current weapon is degraded from extensive use and will suffer reduced precision until repaired. 
I think I'm willing to pop a repair kit on it because it's an expensive gun and frankly it's worth selling so we'll keep it in shape or we'll keep it in functional shape anyways and there goes that guy nice so now let's get our blam blam out again good stuff and what kind of shape is it in uh, it's time to throw a kit on it is what kind of shape it's in that ought to do it yeah it's in 322 out of 360 now all right, so now this area is pretty much open to us. I think we've... We haven't totally searched the other area. Well, we can't open the locks, but we didn't search all the remains. So we're actually going to go trot up and search the dog remains first, see if we can't pick up some more of those acidic tongues. Oh, mutated dog leather. You need chemistry skill to work it, so I guess we'll pass. An acidic tongue, second out of three we can study. Uh, pop the door and look for another acidic tongue if we can get one. I think we might be out of luck on that. Oh no, two more acidic tongues, so we'll just take them. And then there's acid gland sitting there, so mutant acid gland. Extract powerful acid, but we don't have those kind of skills, not at the moment. And we probably aren't going to be shopping for those kind of skills either, because we're already so broad-based. We don't want to use up our skill points on everything. So, 11 uh, WTC 44, some scrap. That's good. Nice stuff. A box. Uh, two 12.7 mil tungstens and three hollow point 762s. Perfectly well worth taking. Some more tungsten 44s and some more scrap. Nasty turrets. Now, it's probably dangerous around here. We'll watch our step. There's a dead guy. Let's check him out. 21 Stygian coins. This light stainless super steel coin is engraved with an image of Charon, the mythic Stygian ferryman. And yes, it is a direct metal-based currency and therefore reasonably stable, at least according to the political theory of this game. Which is reasonably sound on the whole. Okay, makes good sense. It's actually a very well-written game, in fact, in terms of plot as well as gameplay. So more stuff that's locked a bit too hard for us. Another Scrapture. And another Molotov. That's a nice find. A Poisoned Bear Trap. Sure. Why not? Okay, let's stack those. And I guess we're pretty much good other than that. So that stuff's cleared. Or cleared-ish. No, it's going to be just endlessly dangerous around here. You know. It's endlessly dangerous. You just don't know where the danger is. There's some, for example. Alright, nothing in the barrel, you devils. You devils, leading me into perdition with your barrels, eh? Let's have a look around here. Yeah, more of the same. It's a good thing we got paranoia on, eh? I don't have the trap skill to pull these. Oh, I'm gonna die if I walk too far at once. Oh my god, eh? Look at it all. Let's look in this barrel. Nothing in there. Alright, we won't bother discovering the rest of the mines around here. We'll just try to walk away, right? Boom! Wonder if there's more mines over this way. We'll find out. Let's go look. No, oh, looks clear. So we'll pop in here. Alright. Ah, more mines. It barrel. It box. Adaptive lens. And some shotgun shells and some WTC 762s. Locked and hacking 50. We're out of luck. Alright, so in here is, hello, a sentry bot. Well, let's do it some damage. Oh, or, or not. Oh, let's hope it doesn't get me. Alright, you little toad. Eight bullets. Oh, God. It'll probably tase me now, eh? No, it's gonna just use a pachooft. Incapacitating us. Oh, we're getting ruined by this thing, man. Get out of here, right? Not happening, you little monster. Okay. Kachloot. Oh, I might as well end up using bandage as well, I guess. That's just the way it is. I probably have some junk to drop on this guy. What's he got? Five nine mil rounds. A little scrap. Uh, okay. Have I got garbage to drop? Let's pop over to this barrel. Uh, just these rags, I think. 
is anything else that strictly classes as garbage. Oh, we're okay. Alright, we got a little room here. The shelves with a better quality laminated fabric panel. Now we just need a good carrier vest, eh? Ooh, empty mutagen container. This appears to be an empty mutagen container. Fortunately, most of the content has evaporated, and what little remains lost its potency a long time ago. Two points of experience, rather nice. And a frag grenade case, which we'll just pass on. Here's a locker. Hey, a 44 hammerer of fairly good quality. That's a dangerous little gun. Grab that. Medium frequency shield modulator of quality that will be close to what we can use when the time comes. Shield emitter base, we're keeping that. Some powdered graphite, we'll hang on to it for no reason. Desk, locked at 50, you devils. Surveillance monitors showing places we've been, which is all very well and good. And a security terminal, what do we got? Access level 2, security, inner depot auxiliary entrance change to unlocked. Operation completed successfully. Underpass its transition door. Change to unlocked. Operation completed successfully. And that is pretty much what we needed to come here for. And is there actually a secret here? No, there isn't. I swore there was a secret there. I guess maybe we're not perceptive enough to see it. Unless I'm just wrong. I'm frequently wrong. Alright, so now we could take option A and... Uh, well, actually, I don't think there even is an exit to this place, is there? No, this appears to be a dead end other than the gate and the exit back west. I don't think we want to go west right now. So, we'll be going back down, I think. And that does remind me to shut the doors behind me, because, you know, next time we come back here, it choked with mutant dogs. Shut that door. At least they can't open doors. They can open curtains. Don't ever fool yourself that you're safe behind a curtain. I think they only added the ability for them to open curtains a year or two ago. The game does constantly have quiet little changes and evolutions, which is another thing I really appreciate about this game, is that you, you actually get something new quite often. Especially if you, like me, are in the habit of doing endless playthroughs. Alright, I'm sure it's not safe at all in there. And there's a convenient vent shaft. We will still have to use our jackknife, I think. Let's just try. Yeah. We'll still have to use the jackknife because we haven't pushed out our lockpicking skill. We will need to do that. <coughs> Actually, we, yeah, we're going to super need to punch out lockpicking away. So much to deal with. I can't believe we still have torches. Uh, what am I looking for? The jackknife. There it is. Don't ever lose your jackknife, right? Don't ever lose that jackknife. Alright, uh, since we've got the machete in the other hand... Oh no, hey, I better pull the gun out, hey? I, I don't know what's up in these vents, do I? Let's go. After all, if there's nothing up in the vents... It doesn't matter, but if there's something up in the vents, it might be awful useful to have the gun. So we'll look into all these things here. Okay, it's a room. Alright, there's a room in there. Tempting target that. Okay, tempting target that. Oh, that's the other bit of that room. There's a sentry bot. Okay. Good. Look over here. Oh, hey. Let's go this way over here. Back to the level we were just in. And then over here. I do love a little secret or two, eh? And the game does have a few little secrets. So that goes into a room we were not able to access due to lack of skill. I'm gonna guess that it's full of stuff we can't access due to... Oh my god, what? Oh, I have to get out with the jackknife. There we go. Might as well leave the jackknife on in case something's locked in here. Shelves! They can't be locked. Nothing on them. Box. Hey, a Galvanic Vest. Uh, we don't need it, but it's worth a buck. I should have read you the description, I will. Locked at Hacking 50, as I suspected. So here's the vest. This vest provides moderate protection against electrical attacks and carries a hybrid ballistic panel. It's got 20% and 3 mechanical resistance and threshold, electricity 29 and 4, and mechanical damage threshold, the 3 part. 
boosted by 200% against bullets and shotgun shells, so that would mean it's actually 20% and 9 when you're being shot at, due to it being a bullet-resistant plate in there. If you get the stab-resistant one, you get a higher uh, mechanical resistance value against melee or something. I can't remember quite how they do it. We'll find out when we try to make something, eh? Anyway, that was fun. Back we go. Uh, I think I'll pull the gun out again. I just feel like we ought to have a gun. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. Piece of that went all the way to the back of my throat and almost went into my lung. You know, you develop reflexes over the years. You feel that little piece flying in there. And you just stop inhaling. Now hang on while I get it out. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah. I'm sure the uh, joint smokers among you who don't use filters anyway are familiar with the process there. If it goes all the way in, there's a horrible session of cacking and gagging. Ooh, you did leave a little tingle. Let's keep looking at all these. Yeah. You know something? It's dirty with bots, as you can see. One just went by. How many of those zap grenades I got? Three. I wish I hadn't used up two. I only got three. Oh, look. Oh, that's where we came in, or is that an obvious trap? I think that's where we came in. And this was the room with the bot in it. Let's go from up here, then. I'm going to fully investigate these vents. Another hallway full of bots, no doubt. Another bit of hallway. None of it safe. What's in here? Uh, it's still hallway and there's a bot drifting around. That's pretty awesome. And then what's in this one? A closed room. Small and clearly secure, so that'll be our target. Really have to push lockpicking up. I guess we need lockpicking and throwing. We're going to have to spend a chunk of our points on those two things. <laughs> when we get to a level up, it's quite a ways off still. I mean, we'll get a little more experience down here, but we might not level up in Junkyard. One point of experience for a painted welding helmet? You'd look so cool welding stuff with this on. Well, I certainly like the experience point. Ten out of eighteen. Eight more to go. Alright, so where's that other closed room with the bot in it? Is it this one? I think it might be this one. Uh, no, it's further down. It's way down here. I guess we'll deal with that first or after? After. We'll deal with these regular bots first, and I think this is going to end up... Oh, I think I might have an issue. Got a feeling I'm not fighting them from here the way I'd like to. Lockpicking 50. Yeah. 45 we could do. If we had a Mark III pick, we could actually do that. Oh, hey. There's more vent over here. Oh, no, there isn't. Well, it was a hope. So, we don't want to go back out the way we came. We do want that closed room, because a closed room is probably our best bet for fighting bots. There's the one with the single bot in it. <coughs> bots can't open doors. I guess they're not as good as real-life bots, because real-life bots can open doors. As to what I fight this little toad with, I think I'll grab out the energy bang gun, as well as the regular bang gun. Where is the regular bang gun? There it is. Regular bang and energy bang. So, how much per shot? 10.4, energy remaining 28 out of 56. So there's two shots in it. Good enough. What else, right? Should I go in in stealth? No, machines don't care about stealth. There he is, eh? Now, can I back it up and make him do the walking? Because I don't really want to necessarily walk close to him. Let's see if I can make him do the walking. Let's see what he... Oh, here he is. Whoops. He came nice and close, though. I will take a step up and just bow or walk. And then tang, and then we'll go back around this way. Make him do a little more walking. Yeah, okay. And of 
course he's immune to the little dork. Now you gotta shoot the ding out of me. Hey, we dodged a couple of those. That's pretty sweet. Uh, you know, that extra claw quarreling, that'll be the other bots out there who have heard everything. They're probably clustering at the door. Blaug. Let's head over this way. He'll stun me again. No, he didn't stun me again. Okay, well that's the end of him then. Is there still another shot in the Blaug? I'm gonna put another shot in the Blaug. And then... Blaug! Nice, man. That thing's brilliant. I think I'm gonna just... Oh, okay, what's the charge level in it right now? Uh, hang on here. There we are. 27 out of 56. That is the perfect amount to put a 30 battery in, because we require 29, so she's full. Uh, some 9 mil rounds, some scrap, and a 9 mil barrel. Figured we'd get more. A box, hacking 50 shells with some rat hound leather armor. And a 18.6 round. Walker. North gate key card, that'll be the one with the dogs. Maybe I should run back there and pop that gate real quick before the dogs come. Three cans of food. Canned mushrooms and reducing bio damage. Canned fish, reducing cold damage and canned meat, reducing mechanical damage. Ah, belly full of meat. Always makes your skin get randomly harder. Waste pack and two MC capsules. One more box, please no bomb. Oh, interesting. A neuroscopic filter for pyrokinetic stream. Just in case we knew it, we could power it up in case we knew enough to use this item, which we don't either. And some good quality Kevlar cloth. It's a bolt of Kevlar cloth that can enhance bullet stopping capabilities of any piece of combat gear it's applied to. That could come in handy. We might end up using that. So I think I better bop on back and open that gate. Unless the dogs are back. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, go out this shaft, right? I don't... I think I better uh, re-equip my uh, chop hack. Chop hack equipped. And throw a bullet in that gun. Yeah, the dogs might be back. We have left it a while now. But if the dogs aren't back, I'm gonna pop that gate. It'll be handy to have it open later. We do have to come through here more than once. Alright, let's find out. Let's no dog. Nice, let's get out of here. I mean, I could even just go that way, but I don't think so. Man. Maybe I should have left it shut so I can flee that way to flee the dogs later. <laughs> nah, you want that gate open, because, you know, otherwise you run, end up running into the other side of it and being like, No, I have to go all the way around, oh no. So yeah, you want that gate open. You don't want that door open just now. Nope. And where's the one we come out at? Way back here, let's go. Because this is going to be our chosen spot. Oh, we're quite injured. Uh, you know what I didn't buy? Any healing potations. Okay, I don't want to waste a bandage, do I? 79 out of 104, waste a whole bandage on that. Yeah, might as well, because these things are going to bash us. Hopefully we'll find some more healing dealings. So I don't want to have to make another trip back to town. I really should have thought of that. Oh, well, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, we got the three zap grenades. We've got flame grenades, which are worthless against the things. And we've got Mark II frags, which will do them a little damage. But, you know, it's a pretty big waste of a Mark II frag. So this thing has 22 and 3 constitution boost. Pretty nice. This thing has 20 and 3, but has the bullet boost. Yeah, let's put on the bullet boost. Jacket, because uh, stealth doesn't work so hot with machines anyway. They can kind of tell you're there. Better than a person can. Alright, come at me, you little jerks. I wonder which way they're going to come first, eh? Let me go and just do a quick save. I could go find a camera, and that would bring them to me. Oh, I could also... Okay, here we go. I want to take a shot from a good distance, even though my chances aren't skookum. We do have concentration, because we haven't been moving, so we might hit the damn thing. Then I'm going to boogie. Oh, he can see me. Darn. So that sucks. But that means he opened up from way distance, so the others will be coming now. 
So I need to, you know, actually, okay, switch off combat interaction so we don't accidentally hit something. Step out. I don't see any of the others yet. So we'll go ahead and keep shooting at this feller. And we did hit him again. And we're not going to get around the corner again. Oh, does that mean he'll just shoot, though? Oh, no, that's not so bad. So he's probably doing us a bit less damage than he would, and the others must be almost here by now. So I am actually going to go ahead and get right back this time. Get right out of the way. Let's hope they can't come in the door. Like they don't have the movement. Oh, it's just this one, eh? Just blast him then. Alright, and then shut the door. Well, that went way better than anticipated. We did take a little damage. I'm not going to heal. Two rounds, some scrap. Yeah, I'm not going to heal. So the galvanic jacket here with its uh, little plates helped out. There's got to be more of those dudes. Alright, so do a back save and uh, head out there and look, right? Oh yeah, there's one there. Okay, let's just see. I can... No, I'm not going to go in there. Oh, there's one now. Hey, that's an explosive barrel. Okay, we'll make sure we get a hit with cryokinesis. Oh yeah, that did him a lot of damage. Nice, baby. Oh, he's done. Okay, let's boogie because there's another one coming. Okay, let's go. Wow, that was pure luck. Well, it wasn't pure luck, but it was really lucky. That was great, eh? We can see that there's more in here. We must have seen this through a camera. Mm -hmm. Some dugouts and dead things. Uh, yeah, dugouts and dead things. Never a healthy sign. Alright, let's step out. There's the other one. He's patrolling that room. No, he's going all the way up and around. Let's follow him. Oh, well, there's two, isn't there? I think there's two more. Alright, so I'm going to boogie. I'm not even going to try to shoot him. I'm gonna boogie. Yeah, there we go. That is just what I like. So I might have a good chance to get around the corner. How many action points do I need to save myself? Twelve. So take a shot. Uh, and then... Oh, another shot would cost me too much. So actually, let's go this way instead and use up more action points. Yeah, look at that. Two more. So there's three more out here right now. Wow, I wish I hadn't wasted that explosive barrel. Okay, boogie, right? See if all three of them will cluster and maybe we can peg them. No, they're not going to cluster, so we'll just take a shot. Back it up. And combat interactions on. Try the door. Got it. Good, see if we can reload. Nice, saved five action points. We'll wait one more time. That should let them gather quite close to our door, and then they'll start moving away shortly after. So we've got ten extra action points for a total of sixty. We'll have thirty-five only left here. So it's twenty-five to do this. There's all three of them. I wish I'd saved, because I might not live through this. Hit them all. I have just enough action points to either close the door or take a shot at them or drop a flame grenade on them, which I don't think it's going to do them very much damage. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot the lead feller. Okay. And then I'm going to see if I can burst and back up. Now they're in safe mode, so they're back active. So. If I shot, I would have 40 points left. I'll take a shot. Now, how many points does this take? 25 points. That would only leave me 24 points. So I'm going to go ahead and close that door. <laughs> and uh, so I've got 15 left. What will it cost me to reload? Four. So I get to save all 10 extra points, because ten's the max you can save per round. They added saving action points at some point, and actually really boosted combat. We're going to go ahead and heal right now. We're going to wait until we got our grenade back. And if the round ends, we'll save. No, round didn't end. We have our grenade back, so we're going to take our chances out here. Oh, look, they went away. 
We'll just take a shot from here. Wonder how close the other one is. Ow, you little jerk. Dangerous little monkey. Yeah, the other one might be coming from the other way, so it might be wise to, like, not p push our luck here. There we go. So I lost a few hit points, but I don't think it was enough hit points to cause us to quail in the face of danger. I think we're going to go out here again. Oh, yeah, hi. He's right there, is he? Okay, so what we're going to do is back up, shut the door, wait two rounds. Let them come up, right? Hopefully there's both of them. Oh, there's only one. We're going to blast him. All right. Okay, nice. That's one more down of the little turkeys, eh? Put that bullet back in the gun. Oh, that was really lucky, too. I think there's one more. Pretty sure there's one more. Let's go let the camera see us. That'll bring it. If there's one left, it'll come to this active camera at some point or another, right? Ooh, shaking a little. I'm a shaky guy anyway, though. Looks like we're clear on active bots. That's beautiful. So, let's start searching. Lockpick at 50. Really need to level up. Okay, empty shells. We do have to be careful around here. There's probably mines. And more. Alright, let's just... Found a mine in there already. So nothing in that desk. Empty syringe. No desk there, just rubble. And what do we got here? Oh, 762 Hawker. Pretty good quality gun, too. And a locker. Okay. Blueprint for advanced health hypo. We would need to know biology. We haven't decided on that. Energy pistol frame we will take. Moving. Let's pop to this barrel here. An electronic repair kit. We might need to apply one to our knife soon, so that's good. Uh, one round on some scrap. Okay, keep on looking. Hey, we looked all through that room pretty much. Not going in there for the moment. There's a set of remains over here. We'll go see it, eh? I think we got a safe pathway that far. One round and some scrap. Set of shelves down here. Wouldn't be surprised if it was bombed. Ooh. Wouldn't be surprised if something in there spotted us. Let's have a look now that we're here, eh? Okay, yeah. Pair of auto turrets. Foo. I don't feel very confident about those. We got the underpass. It's transition open, so we can skip the dogs when it's time to return here. All right, let's go search these remains that we haven't checked. Oop, not that, not that. Nine mil barrel, a round and some scrap. Pretty left. Oh, that's all the remains there. Yeah, we got that open, so that's good. So next stop is barrel shelves and locker up here. It's quite likely bombed, but we're just gonna trot up and find out, right? Oh, we didn't step on any bombs. Five empty ampules. There's a bomb. Oh, a 7.62 millimeter Corsair sniper rifle. Fantastic damage on the thing. And it's got a precision boost on it. It's a nice gun and it's worth quite a bit of money. It's certainly better than our previous sniper rifle. We might find a use for it. We might find a use for it, you know? We'll see. Okay, there's another bomb in here, right? So, shelves. Four bolts we'll take them for now. A scrapture. We can still study a few more. I guess scraptures are interesting enough to study ten times. So now we're at, what, eleven. Ha! <laughs> picking fifty not happening. I want twelve-seven hollow point. Okay, so there's a room with a bot and a turret in here. That's what that camera just told us. We don't need to look at the others. And there's some rooms here. I know full well they're too locked for us. So we have a series of options at this point. Obviously we want to get rid of all the turrets and trash in this place so that we can keep on going. 
we're a little short on necessarily abilities for that. I'm gonna change our loadout slightly. I'll just grab, well, just grab those out basically. We've got all our flame grenades loaded. And we might try a little bit of can we use stealth to take on a combat that's actually strictly miles out of our league. And we'll see about that. I guess I'll blow another healing because we that's another thing. We're definitely gonna just have to go back and get some more healing. I'm gonna use a bandage. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna have to return to town and get some more healing. That's okay, you guys might get two episodes today anyway, so if you're lucky. Cause, uh, I'm here early, as it's rainy day. Ooh, it's gone all bright outside, but still cloudy and rainy. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, how very beautiful. There's kind of a golden light on all the green greenery, but the sky's all dark gray still. I guess there must be a thin spot in the clouds near where the sun is. Boy, is it ever pretty. So, I want to come in here in stealth. Oh, we better put our stealthy coat back on, right? There it is. There's our stealthy coat. Gives us at least a very slight boost. Uh, maybe we should tune it up. Nah, it's in really good shape, actually. So are our shoes. Our knife is in acceptable condition. Our gun is in okay condition. And I'm tempted to play a little game with the sniper rifle. So we're going to pull it out and replace the knife with it. And we'll... Oh, no, I don't have many rounds, eh? So I have five tungstens. And then I can just custom load the hollow points, right? So we got a little custom clip with uh, five tungstens and three hollow in it. I'm not sure which fires first. I, don't know. I think probably the ones we loaded most recently, so the hollow points, that suits me. Okay, this is really... So, I'll show you what's in here. I won't tell you what's in here. I'll show you what's in here. And we'll probably die, but we're going to try a little stealth. This again. Usually I don't take this area on until I'm at least advanced enough to own a shield. And we're quite a long ways from that. I have a feeling this might work out just in a different interesting fashion. So slide up on here, right? So now you see there's a fence here. Yes sir, there is. We'll just do a couple quick saves. And there's a feller named Hugh, who has not remotely seen us. No, he has not. And Hugh, well, Hugh's not really supposed to be here. Neither is his fence or anything. So maybe we can take this opportunity to make Hugh... Which clicked. Not here. What are my chances? 10%, yo. Alright, back it up. Let's find out how close we can get. Without... What? He just saw me like that, yo? Really? Let's just try that again. Let's go over this way, right? Dude, he just spots me straight out. Okay, maybe the sniper's not gonna fly. Well, we'll try it again. Just take the shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it till I hit him with it, just to see what a 762 hollow point will do. You're so incompetent, it's painful, says Hugh. Hugh, you are correct, sir. Oh, right, I gotta wait for focus to come on. Still 10. Doesn't matter, I'm just... That's the minimum chance you can get, is 10. There's always a 1 in 10 chance you might freaking hit something, so I don't need to wait for focus. You missed, loser, says Hugh. I, I may have to give this up. I might not be able to hit this guy at all. Now, what's going on over there, says Hugh. All right, well, at least we'll run out his quotes, right? You're so incompetent, it's painful. Oh gosh, we are looping his quotes now. That's disappointing, isn't it? I'm never gonna hit him. <clears throat> I give it up. Come back out of stealth. Handle this like a man. <laughs> Handle this like a man. We're gonna get wrecked. So, after we get wrecked a little, I'll leave. <laughs> after we get wrecked a little, I'll leave, right? Alright, so... Start combat. We'll take a shot at the fella, right? Eh? Oh, can I hit him with frost? No, because it gets stuck on the fence. So, Take a shot. He says, learn to aim. Oh, I guess we hadn't quite run out of his quotes. I could try going into stealth now. See what happens. Nothing. I'm an idiot. Come back out of stealth. Let them walk up a little, eh? Yeah. 
Oh, snap, they walked up way more than I wanted. Hey, guys, I really didn't want to see you up this close and friendly. Let's try a Mark II frag on them. Uh, let's try a Mark II frag on me. Ah, here we go again, eh? I'll take another couple shots at it. Uh, I think I better save with my weapon switched back to normal, eh? Yeah. I'll just save with my weapon switched back to normal. So we'll take the shot at you. Okay. And uh, should I just spray him down with more fire? No, I think I'll, uh, boogie over to here. See if they bundle up nicely for me. Oh. They didn't. I'll frost you. I almost feel sorry for you. Almost. So he is chilled. He's not frostproof. That's nice. Because that slows Hugh down. Meaning that I might get a cluster of the little demons at this point. Which is kind of what I want. Like My only hope is to use a strong area effect weapon. Every, any other option, I'm dead. So, oh, wrong one. Let's just see if we can do it. That was a pretty good hit. I don't think it was enough, but uh, I think just Hugh's just gonna heal now. Okay, I got a chance with this knife. Ah, not good enough. I'm dead now. Goodbye. Oh, he missed. That's kind of handy. He now didn't miss knee wound and pummel. All right, so we're leaving now. We are gonna go. We're completely out of our depth, and it's time to go. Anyway, now we know. Black Eel Gangster, as you saw. This is the secret entrance of the Black Eels. So, I think we're probably going to have to go back to town and do a resupply. Which means this ladder, eh? So we can walk there without being molested or blowing up. Because, <coughs> yeah, we're at a bit of a point where we need a... Uh, more supplies and maybe more experience, eh? More supplies and maybe more experience. So we'll just head out. I think maybe it's time we did a little adventuring. The dogs will respawn, whatever. But we can dodge the dogs, at least temporarily. We can dodge the dogs. We are going to end up having to fight them again one way or the other. But we can dodge the dogs temporarily. And we can... Uh, uh, now... I could save fighting those guys and tell Eddie about them, which I've also never done before. And the reason I've never done it before is I just want their stuff. They have stuff I want. I want their stuff. I'm going to come back and kill them when I can. Oh, I should have gone to Gort and tried to sell things, eh? Yeah. Definitely should have gone to Gort. Gort. Hey, Gort. Ooh, I shouldn't make that loud T in front of the microphone. It was probably awful. I have no idea. I hope it didn't uh, break any speakers. <laughs> okay. Uh, he'll buy these things. Both of which I'm inclined to keep. And that's all he's buying. Let's see what he's got for us. Well, he's got four tungsten and two hollow point nine mils. So that's good news. Leveling up is just not happening for us. We need a good vest. Has he got a... He's got Galvanic Vests. They're too high quality for us, I'm relieved. <laughs> He's got the one that's better against knives and worse against bullets. But we've got, what's our quality? 56? 51. So we've actually got a really good one that matches our skill profile. Oh, Hussar Frame. Out of our skill level, as to be expected. We have to level up. Some Tungsten in our skill level. Might be nice to upgrade the knife, but I don't think it's worth the money to do so right now. I don't think we should bother. Uh, goggles. I'd like to make some goggles at some point, I guess. I suppose we could pick up that goggles frame. Radhound tabbies. Dodge and evasion by 17. Uh, so they're better quality than those. But you know something? <coughs> I like the agility boost of the cave hopper gear take that battery off him. I'll take those two Mark II frags. We've got enough money and we do have some... We do have stuff to sell? Yeah, we have stuff to sell. We can sell a bunch of stuff. Won't take anything else off him for now. So that's a lot of money and yeah, he's not buying anything. So 
Ow, man, that was expensive. Really expensive. Off we go to try to sell some more trash. We have to make sure we have enough combat equipment to do some adventuring. We're not disgustingly badly off. Let me stack those Mark II grenades up. Where are they? There they are. Let's stack those up. Okay, uh, I could throw on the waste pack and get the mercantile by 10 boost, eh? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it'll unequip one set of our grenades, but whatever. I will. I will. You know, 10 points of mercantile is better than nothing. I just don't want to get used to wearing that because we, we want combat capable uh, belts. Okay, show me what you got. Ooh, what's this? An insulated overcoat with a ballistic panel. It's not great. Oh, look at the price. Oh, we can't afford that. That is miles out of range. He has restored. He's got his full money again. But he doesn't have any special rounds for us. We're actually really low on rounds. So what's he buying? Six firearm parts, three firearms. So and how many melee weapons? Three. So we find the three most expensive knives we have. So 472, that'll be right up there. 327 and 289, that's probably the three best. Uh, I should have pulled the rounds out of this. If I do pull them out now, it'll just end sale. But that's okay. I'm going to sell that with the rounds in it then. And then the two next best are going to be that guy at 4,000 for sure. There's one at 2990. Let's have a look. 60 to. Oh, that's the electric gun. So it's been useful so far, that. So yeah, 2990 was definitely the next best. So that's all the firearms he's going to buy. We'll also dump all non standard rounds on him. And one of the two barrels, we are going to hang on to one, and our 28 casings, because we're not going to be making rounds. So that's all we can sell. We're not selling him our shooty belt until we get a better belt. There is one other belt I want, basically. I haven't seen one yet. I don't know if we have much to buy here. It would be nice to have yet another frag grenade, I guess. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to have yet another frag grenade, but maybe I want to save that money. Uh, I will want those rounds. I'm going to want all those rounds, and I'll take those hollow points. So let's see what that costs us. Okay, we gain 177. We're going to be good with that. We're going to be good with that and move on. Oh, did he have any carrier vests? Oh, I didn't look. Didn't look that way. No. Somebody else might. I don't think Gort did. We had a look there. At least I remember looking. Yeah, I think we've got better black cloth already, haven't we? Do we? Oh, I dropped it off back at home, but yes, I think it's better than that. I could use those batteries, but I'm gonna... Oh, I only have six batteries. Yikes. Okay, I'll buy the batteries. Just gonna have to, basically. He's not buying anything. Sad that. 41 credits gone. That sucks. Didn't pick up any mine shrooms to sell Kimi. We do have food to sell at the other place. Yeah. Uh, he got a, he's got four tungstens for us. We'll take those. Anything else? I don't see anything great. He'll buy that rat hound leather armor, and he will buy two melee weapons. So let's we'll pick whatever the best are. We got 274 and 223 are the best. Not gonna get much for those. I don't think he has anything else we need. Yeah, we have Machete Mold, so we get three coins off him at a slight disadvantage to ourselves. We'll go to the bar. Now, I don't know if I want to take the mission from Abram. I'm not sure about it yet. I think it leads to the free Dordlers. He's buying three, we're just going to sell him whatever, so that's worth 650, that's nice. 300, 300, 2 by 300, 300, 250, 150, so... He's buying three, so we'll s just sell him the stack of two. He has nothing we want. What do we get? 20 coins. I'm pretty happy about that. I just don't know about Abram. Well, let's find out what he wants. I don't know if I want to get involved with any thieves and murderers. You know? Are we earn some more money? If so, he coughs. I have another business proposal for you. Tell me what you had in mind. Need to deliver a pr 
present to our friends in the Union Embassy. It's a surprise, so they mustn't know about it. I would do his voice, but just... I'm so bad at it, guys. I fear if I was to deliver this present myself, I wouldn't be allowed to leave anytime soon. Okay, what is the present you want me to deliver? It is a little pet. Very lovable. Likes to hang out. Ventilation ducts. You must place it there. Without anyone noticing. Do you think you would be able to do this? I could do that. Excellent. Once you've done it, I will pay you 500. He slowly reaches into one of his overcoat pockets and with both of his, hand, with both of his hands and removes something. He holds it between his palms and brings it close to his mask. You are not sure what it is, but you can make out small insect-like legs protruding from the sides. He holds it there as if speaking to it, but no sound comes from either of them. He reaches over and grabs your arm with one hand and lets the creature grapple onto you. You can now clearly see it's a tiny burrower spawn. Abram's long bony fingers and the creature's tiny legs both feel equally disgusting on your arms. There is barely time for panic though creature quickly skitters over your arm and torso until it finds a suitable pocket in your clothes to hide in. Remember, you must release it near a ventilation shaft. It will find its way onwards from there. Let's go up your arm. Okay, let's take a look at the mission request. Sneak Abram's cybernetic spawn into the ventilation ducts of United Stations Embassy Junkyard. Well, off we go to the embassy. Oops, uh, Looked in some shelves. I'm glad there was nothing in them and nobody got mad, eh? Gravy. So we will have to disarm, right? So let's head over this way to the door of the embassy. This is hilarious. I wonder if we'll get an experience point for doing this. Maybe. Not all missions do. Some do, some don't. So we'll disarm. Oh, there's the cybernetic spawn. We'll have a look at its description as well, eh? Awesome. Clear all that stuff. Sort. Now where is Mr. Spawn? There he is. Cybernetic Spawn. It's some sort of cybernetically modified burrower spawn. It seems docile and quite content where it is. Use. Attempt to release Spawn into the vent ducts. You must either be inside the ducts yourself or standing next to a ventilation shaft. Use time 1.5 seconds. Cooldown use on use 1 second. Okay, I think I'll put him into one of my quick slots. Yep, there he goes. He's in a quick slot. He he he. Cannot be used in combat. Alright, well, we're allowed in the embassy. In fact, I could even go look upstairs in the elevator area, eh? Interesting. Oh, does that count as embassy, or is it just protectorate base over there? So I need a vent shaft that I can sort of get to. I don't know if I can stealth out behind this person. Let's shut this door and shut this door, right? Maybe I can stealth out behind this person, eh? Let's see. Oh, where, where, the light switch in here? Okay, hang on. I gotta find the light switch for this place. Ah, oh, the camera's there too, yo. I don't see a light switch for the room, unfortunately. I really wish there was one, because I could get darkness. Let's go stealth. Let's just wait. See if there's a, any chance, eh? No, they totally see us. What about over this way? Can I get out of their view there? Not really. I'm not gonna go over here now. Oh god, no, there are guards all over. Look at me all sneaking around. Can't open that, they'll get me. Oh, the guards don't instantly see my butt, eh? Okay, so this is locked at hacking 40. Uh, not a chance, even with even if I went and got a higher uh, level hacksaw. Alright, well, let's come out of stealth for now. No point. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Unless I can just do it. I mean, maybe they don't get mad if I open a vent shaft. Does this count? There's no vent shafts in this area. Maybe they don't get mad if I open a vent shaft. Is that possible? Would they simply... Oh no, they will. Hmm. Trixie Doodle, eh? 
Can I make them think there's an emergency? Oh, look at that. You can. This might sound silly, but I have a favor to ask. I think I might have lost something in the ambassador's office. I had it on me before I went there. But now it's gone. Since it would feel highly disrespectful of me to comb through his office. To me, very important item. But that won't work. And this item is? Oh, now there's a whole bunch of options. A red pen. It belonged to my late mother. I carry it with me all the time. A black marble. Had it with me since I was a kid. It means a lot to me. A small titanium white ball earring must have fallen off somehow. A gold coin with a large-nosed man on it. Ancient history. A contact lens. Can't see properly without the bugger. My lucky tooth. Not entirely white, but still brings nothing but pure luck to me. I'll say gold coin. How about you wait until the ambassador leaves the office? So you won't help me? Oh, but that'll take forever. I think I can do it. Not really. Okay, so I got no way to con him out of the deal. I don't think I can reach this over here. Oh, yeah, actually, that cop here might not be blocking me. Let's try and stealth up here. Come on, boys. You can't see me. I'm invisible. It looks like I'm out of luck till I can either get more stealthy or more convincing. And that's going to have to be more stealthy. What about this door? Oh, there's a guard right on it. Guard right on this door. This door is per sometimes not guarded, but uh, there's no... I can't open it. I'm not skillful enough. So, there we go. We'll be hanging on to the cybernetic spawn for a bit longer, I guess. Hey, you know what? While I'm searching this place, is there anywhere I could pick up a, an experience point item without getting in trouble? No. No. Let's leave. No, there ain't. So, pull back out of there. Rearm. Because, you know, you never know when you're going to need your weapon, Reese. So, okay. So then we'll put those, and we'll put those. That all seems dandy. We need more bullets. If we're going to go adventuring, we should have a bit more bullets, and we have to have more healing things. Let's see what we got here. Is he buying anything? He's buying the Pyrokinetic Stream Filter. He's buying the Graphite. Those are good things to be dumping. And probably just going to be buying healing equipment from him, I'd say. He's got blueprints for various things. Chemical pistols, eh? Like, interesting stuff. But chemistry's not going to be our thing. We might end up taking a little biology to do psionics, we, or psionic equipment, we might not. Do I need to buy more boom stick or fire sticks right now? No, not really. What I do need is healing rigadoon, so I'm going to buy seven band-aids, so we have ten, and I'll buy all six of his uh, tushal hushal kushalers. We never use the psychic boosters, so... He's buying five medicines. We're going to go ahead and sell him all four of our psychic boosters. That at least alleviates the agonizing price. Okay, that's good. Yeah, okay. That seems good. Let's go to the electronics shop. We really would like to upgrade our equipment in any way we can. Armor is important. Anyway, let's see what she has. Probably nothing that we really need, and we have to be careful with all of our moolah. Like, for instance, this nice shield modulator we're just going to get rid of, because we are we don't even have the ability to build a shield. Blueprint energy pistol, oh boy. But again, we probably couldn't build a very good one. I think I'll sell the plasma blaster now, just because it's worth a lot of money. Oh, you know, it might be worth a lot more money if I repaired it. I got two repair kits. How's our knife? It'll be a while before it needs a repair kit. We don't use it that much, do we? Is it worth it throwing a repair kit on this thing? Value 6215. Okay, quick save and see what value boost we get out of a. Well, it's going to cost us more than 800 or 400 to replace that kit, but we are building up some scrap. We can make one. So let's just see. So 622. 8,000. It's probably worth it in terms of the price we'll get. We'll see. So we'll just grab that and we'll also sell that. And now what do we want here? She does not have a Mark III Hacksaw, so too bad for us. And 
I think we'll just go ahead and take money. 151 credits, so how much would it cost us to buy one of these kits to replace what we lost? 40 credits, okay, I'm good. I think we did fine with that. I think we did okay with that transaction. And not really much for us to buy there. We need bullets and any other damage dealing stuff. We're probably okay on total repair kits for now. We just really need to be able to do harm. I'd love to have a better gun. That's the way it is. We can't afford a better gun and we can't really build one. Okay, so we've been here. We've looked already. He does have a Mark II grenade that it wouldn't be sad for us to get. That's about all he's got that we want, eh? We'll just hold off, we won't bother. We've looked at these guys probably, so let's go to, uh, what's his face? And then we might try a little adventuring after that. There's even reasonably nearby adventuring. We might not have to move, leave town to do a little adventuring. Show me what you have, Colton. So he's got four regular rounds of three tungstens, not a lot. He's got a zap sledgehammer. We're probably strong enough to use it, eh? Nope. Minimal strength 9 on that thing. Wow. Wow. Well, I mean, wielding a hammer as a weapon is a lot different than using it as a tool. You do have to be awful strong. Some nice tungsten that's not far off our skill level. It's so tempting all the time, eh? Same with that. It's not far off our skill level. Whatever. We're going to hold off. We'll just buy the rounds. We've got nothing really to sell him except this 9mm barrel. We'll just hang on to the 9mm barrel. Oh, 15 credits, eh? Painful, but fine. Alright, we're gonna try and do a little adventuring just outside of Junkyard, I think. There's plenty of caves around. Actually, the cave system west of Junkyard isn't gigantic. It's mostly just the route between Junkyard and SGS with a few side branches. But there's stuff we can do. There's stuff we can do. And I don't feel like we're really equipped to take on those turrets down there or any of the other stuff down there right now. So we are going to go adventuring. Let's do some saving. So we'll head north of Junkyard. No, that's west. We're west of Junkyard. God, compass gets you confused. So, there is one experience point in here, and I think it's pretty safe except for... So, we'll head around here. Is it around here? Oh, there it is. Look at that. A trilobite! A perfectly preserved trilobite fossil. So, we got one more out of that. That's something. And then we got all kinds of trouble. We better be very careful. We don't have a shield, so we're probably not going to live. Without a shield, it's doubtful that we would live. But a man can try. A man can try. So let's quick save twice. Start combat. Pop that open high, thugs. And we'll just throw a Mark II frag at them, eh? Got one down. We don't have enough points to finish the other, and he's going to heal. So we're just going to run. Ah, no! Crossbow guy can see us! Oh, he missed. I can't believe he missed, eh? Uh-oh. Knee wound. We're absolutely... We got no movement points at all now. Everything is action points. Can I stun this bugger? Please stun. Resist stun. You jerk. Clam. Just... Ah, uh, here it comes. Hey, we're dead. Oh, okay, we're not quite dead. Oh, now we're dead. <laughs> Oh my god. Time to kill this now. Okay, we'll try it again. We're probably not able to do this. Let's come up from the other side. Oh, snap. He saw me before I even got in there, eh? Alright, let's see if we can stun his butt. Stun. Resists. You rotten, dirty rotten. Good. Have some flames. I don't think that's gonna be nearly enough to get us through our difficulties, but let's just move this way. Here's this fellow. Here's this fellow. I think the thing to do is probably to shoot at them. I think that's how we do it. Should have used the hollow points. 
You know, that flames are there. That's dangerous. Oh, no. We're so dead. Oh, goodbye, life. It is now over. It is now over. Oh, let us try the carving. I'm carving and carving and carving and carving. No, nope. We're so done. Die! Oh, he's a punch artist. Oh, he's totally stunned us. We're so done. Zoinked. I think we might be out of our league. I think this might not be a place for me to get experience after all. But we could keep trying a little. Let's put some flames in there. Um. Well, there were good and bad elements to how that went. Basically. Here's this idiot. Uh, well, at least I'm sure to hit him. I wonder if he'll dare walk through the fire. He can probably walk wide there, so we'll just... Oh, uh, he walked through the fire, or he walked around it. Maybe the fire doesn't actually cover. Let's see if we can stun him. We got the stun. Definitely continue the shooting of shoots. Nice. Okay, so 72% on regular shoot, 39 on burst. Or I could try to frost his butt to death. Okay, hang on. Let's do a little math. His 44 health. My frost does uh, probably enough that two frosts will roast him. Do I have enough points here to do two frosts? I sold all my Psy boosters. So we have 35 Psy remaining in our functional. 17 times 2 is 34. Get frosty. Get frosty. Dead, baby. So now the other two are coming. Obviously, an issue. I could attempt to get stealthy over here if they don't spot me. I think I'll do just that. Voosh. I have nowhere else to go. So I'm just gonna hold quiet, eh? Oh, no, 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 no. The stealth was worthless. It was worthless. Burn, baby, burn. He did not burn. That's disappointing. But he's the punchy type one, so... If I could maybe pull a stun blast next round, it might be good. In the meantime, all I got is a bullet. And I got another bullet. I have a bullet, right? Okay, buddy. Oh, he ran back. Oh, wow, he ran back. Let's heal. Joint. And our Psy is recuperating. How many of these? I got five of those. I got 13 of these. They are bound to do more damage. I think I'll hold off on them. Oh, we might almost survive this time. There's that fellow. I'm going to guess I outrange him. I got 47% with that, or I could frost him. How many hit points does he have? 158 remaining. Oh, I can't kill him in two shots of frost. I might as well save my frost. He's got a pistol. I've got a rifle. I've got focus on. He probably will next round. I'm not hitting him. Ah, oh, darn it, eh? Here he comes. Kneecap shot. Ah, oh, that pig, eh? And I've wasted my heal already, eh? I don't know where the other guys run off to. Uh, does, uh, does frosting reduce his action points? No, just his movement points, eh? That's disappointing. But it is a sure hit. I don't know, I'll keep working with the rifle. I got better chances now. Ah, oh, that was a good one. Okay, he might kill us. Yeah, it's not looking good. I've got explosives back. He ran off. How very interesting. With knee wound, I have no movement. I'm gonna hold my explosives, reload my gun. And, uh, now, if I move up a notch, will that make it harder or easier for him to walk down and shoot at me? Like, will he have to walk more or less? I'm gonna go ahead and just hold. Oh, god, no. We're dead. Blast and dander. Oh, we did really good that time. I'm gonna try that again. Flames and explosions are the sorts of things we want to see, so let's just... 
ahead. We'll try the explosions this time, eh? Hey guys, catch. One down, and one badly wounded. That leaves me with no, um... Explosives option. Let's hope we can get out of crossbow guy's range. It's a shame that he didn't drop instead of uh, punchy guy. Oh no, well that's the end of this round. I don't think there's anything I can do after that. Hey, he didn't knee wound me. That's something, right? Well, maybe this will work out. Oh no. That guy's a beast. Crossbow guy is probably the most dangerous of them. Okay, so I know that guy's behind me, so I could try to chase him down, or I could heal and try to make him do more walking, which might make us a little less vulnerable to crossbow. Let's try to make that guy do some actual walking here, eh? Here he is. Now I'm gonna try a stun on him. Got him with it. And I'll just, uh, I'll, you know, cut him a little. I'll step back for the sake of crossbow. Here's second win for Thug. So what are my chances with the knife? 83 going for it. Oh, very handy. And now this guy, I got no hope to stun, but there's every chance I could set his butt on fire if I'm super lucky. He did not light on fire. A disappointment. I don't think I can step out of his way. So being closer versus being further. I want to take this. Oh, he walked right up. And he missed. I think crossbows are not so hot at close range. He certainly got me with that, though. I don't think I have a heal left. Uh, I know, nine turn cooldown. So the guy's probably going to kill us now. Uh, it only cost me four AP to reload, so I'm going to go ahead and put all five hollow points in right now and then drop them into him. Oh. I didn't have burst, or I wasted burst somehow. Well, that's it. We're done. Oh, well, no, not quite. Well, three round burst. Oh, no. For some reason, that's just not... I. Okay, I played all my cards wrong. I played all my cards wrong, eh? Yeah, uh, he's gonna kill us. S still, I absolutely sense that we can pull this off, right? I absolutely sense that we can pull this off. Oh, I wonder if stealth would be the way to go. Start out in stealth. Can you open a door in stealth? You can. Let's just step out. Oh, now that's kind of handy. Let's go back around here now that that door's open. Eh? Oh, that's kind of interesting. Let's quick save there. Slide up in stealth, eh? Then... I'll just step up, and I'll throw a burst in. Did I hit them both? Yeah, I got no action points and no move points now, so that's the end of my life. You know, that's just a reload, basically. Oh, he missed, did he? Not with that, but hey, not so bad, right? Ow, you hog. Ouch! No! Okay, I have two possible hopes. One is to heal, and one is to blow them up. So I'm going to start with blowing them up. Please, all of you, please die, right? Oh my god, I did remarkably well with that. Can I heal? I can. It's not great healing. And can I stun crossbow? Possibly, and possibly kill him, too. He resisted stun. Okay, now we die. Still, not bad. Oh, goodbye. Lamb. That's awesome. You know, I hope you guys like dying as much as I like dying, because uh, this game does have a lot of dying in it. Let's go way back here. Okay, yeah, they're fully green. Let's just throw that in there. Oh, Christ, what have I done, y'all? That's hilarious. Let's put a burst in there. That's good stuff. Now let's boogie. Wow, I don't think we even burnt ourselves. That's a new one. Oh, how interesting. So are they going to be looping around that way? Not so much, no. Let's just use the old burst. It's, it's super effective. Hi. Hi. You're nasty, nasty man, and I don't like you. Trying to get around a corner. Woot. Maybe I could have gotten further around a corner. Reload the gun. No. 
Hey. Oh god. Oh, thank goodness. No. Oh, blasty danders. I don't have my uh, ability to use an area weapon back. I do have my ability to put these in here. And... Oh, then I lose my burst. I should have thought of that. I should have done the math. Is what I should have done. Is hold. Oh, that's it. We're done. Okay, I might have to give this up. I actually, maybe I am out of my depth, eh? Oh boy, come on, baby, we can do this. Let's go way over here, go way over here. Let's just drop a burst. Oh, maybe I should start combat, right? And then we drop a burst, just drop a burst. Oh, no mo moving points because of stealth, right? So, actually, reload, better chance is to absolutely come up out of stealth. Let's just head over a ways while in stealth. And then uh, do a quick save and I will come out of stealth. Oh, maybe I can... Oh, they saw me. Oh. This I never thought of. Let's boogie. I wonder if they all saw me, right? Let's draw this fellow a ways on, eh? Just like the minor bird drawing the uh, workers into the jungle. Yeah, come on, buddy. There, oh no, they all came. All right, fine. So leaving that door open might have been bad. That's okay. Let's uh, uh let's try even more alternate tactics, eh? That'll bring them. Will they transit the flames? Let's see. Not perfectly. Take a shot. Take a shot and then, yeah, boogie around the corner as far as we can, eh? Ah, uh, you got the kneecapping. Him and his kneecapping, eh? Dirty devil. Oh! I lost the ability to burst because I used up action points moving. He resisted the stun. He's a big jerk. Just that. He did. He's immune to frost. Oh my god, eh? This <laughs> is... I'm getting ruined. He's immune to frost. Okay, they've all come. Just absolutely... <laughs> okay, guys. Like I said, I hope you like dying as much as I do. Eh? Let's head around this way. Try to work crossbow, boy can bring them all together. Icicle him from here, right? Got him. And come back around the corner. They should all gather. Set the flames. Okay. Now try the stun. Let's be aggressive, right? Okay, get around that corner. He's gonna come. Yeah, there he is. And let's take a knife to him. That's how we'll reduce his action points, right? Oh, I should have backed up. That's okay. Oh, no, he got the stun. Blast and dander, eh? Oh, here's Mr. Stupid Kneecap. Where did you come from, you big fool? Oh, I almost had them. Oh, I almost had them. Alright, so absolutely hit him with the frost. This is the best strategy so far, eh? Hit him with the frost, run around the corner, wait, one go. Yeah, they're all up there, are they? Think I might get lucky? Let's try to choke the area with flame, right? Yeah, setting fires is good, because it causes panic and consternation uh, in two of them. And we got a stun on Buck Owens as well. Now that's good news. We're going to step right up. And, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna fix Crossbow while his friends go running, right? So we got five hollow points, that's one burst. Oh no, he's out of stun already? How is he out of stun already? Okay, he did. Okay, back into here, and... Absolutely, we're actually gonna completely boogie right now. We're gonna completely boogie. Wow, man. Yeah, we're out of here. They won't venture close to town. We'll be back in combat the second we step across that border, but I think I'm okay with that. There are two accesses to the place as well, so 
we'll go use the other one in case they followed us to that one, right? Whew, oh, I feel pretty good about that. I feel pretty good about that. That was tricky. Well, we're not done yet, but our odds just got a lot better because crossbow was kind of the worst. Let's have a look. Let's walk around and see if they're still standing around or if they headed back. Looks like they headed back. Oh, they're just right there, eh? Hi, guys. Just on their way back. All right, let's frost him. I think he's punchy. I can't tell, but I think he's punchy. And punchy is good. Let's back it way up to here. No, he's gunny. Actually, so I'm extra glad I slowed him down. Eh? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bomb them. That went beautifully, and I'll just frost him again. Almost. Okay, I, I've got the ability. I can do it. Wham! Done. Well, we killed him. I'm pretty pleased with that, eh? Uh, we'll get a little treasure. Probably enough to pay for our uh, excursion. Two coins and some pneumatic Rathound leather gloves. This is a pair of light Rathound leather combat gloves. The pneumatic hammer unit mounted on the gloves will, when powered, occasionally inflict extra damage and even... It goes off the screen and even knock people out or something. Every fourth hit deals an additional 188% damage and incapacitates the target for two hard turns. Wow. Or, yeah, no. Incapacitates reliably. It's uh, not a horrible weapon. You know, uh, we haven't specialized yet, have we? Let's just see. I mean, we could go into... Uh, no, we haven't specialized in terms of our... Uh, Hand weapon. I did want swords, though. Okay, two coins, four shotgun shells, twenty, uh, five mil, some rat hunt leather, a five mil hawker. That he was doing all that to us with a five mil hawker. Steel combat knife. It just goes to show you need to know how to aim the gun, and then it's effective. Right? <laughs> a health hypo. That's nice. Three coins, twenty-five bolts, some pig leather armor. Not as good as ours anyway. So. Hurricane crossbow, a nasty little knife, acid bolts, a vial that breaks on impact, spraying acid onto the target, and shock bolts, inflicts electrical damage and can stun. Nasty. Nasty business. Mean devils. Okay, we've cleared their corpses. We've pretty much looked around. We'll just go look in their little house. Is there anything back here? No. So nothing but a set of shelves. Okay, so one rubber sole and a marked card deck. It takes quite a bit of observation, but you figure out these cards are actually marked. Two points of experience, and we can look at that a couple more times if we want to, or at least if we find more. So now we're at 14 out of 18. Well, now I could go up in here. It's probably a really bad idea. Let's go. I like bad ideas. It's a day for them. Okay, we're gonna die now. Goodbye, death coming. All dead. Everyone dead. Hello. Make me dead. Let's see if I can stun it. Cloin. I stunned it. Uh, hit it with the slowdown blast. Hit it with the slowdown blast. It'll come unstunned. Blast it. Oh, total missing. It might not reach me, because I sh chilled it, right? So it just come out of chill. I got my choice. Chill it again, shoot it, or try something else. I think it's shoot it. Oh, so near and yet so far. Goodbye, world. Glurp, 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 glurp. Came over, basically. Eh? Oh, let's just see. Nasty thing. We actually did it. We get anything? Nothing. A siphoner tongue. Seriously? A siphoner tongue? Heal. Miserable brutes, eh? I was hoping we'd get something out of that. Now we gotta wait the cooldown on our uh, healing. Oh, well, you know, healing in combat might not even be functional versus these things. Anyway, let's keep moving into the area, right? <laughs> it's not gonna get better. Which way do I wanna go? I think I wanna go this way. A dead man? I don't remember there ever being a dead man here. That's interesting. See if we can get to him safely. Okay. Rat hunt leather boots. Tungsten 8.6 round. An empty ampule. Probably antidote or something. 
eight coins, and some K-pop leather armor. I'd put it on if it wasn't junk. Oof. Wonder if stealth would preserve me from uh, the inevitable. Probably not. Rubble. Rubble, rubble. Obsidian shard. It's a shard of volcanic glass. A point of experience. Take the mine shroom this time. Take what we can get. All right, I could probably sneak back safely, so that's a good place to double quick save, and then we'll try messing around a little. We're gonna look around the place, right? The dangerous in here. It's full of those frog-like monstrosities. Hey, you. All right, put the slowdown on him, and then head back the way we came, hoping not to stimulate any more of the devils. Okay, good. Put the slowdown on him. Do the same, head back absolutely in our footsteps as much as possible. And put the slowdown on him. He's getting closer. And that would be a bad plan, so we'll go that way. Yeah, he's going to catch us now, eh? Uh, he's got one turn left of slowdown, so let's see if we can pick up a little distance, eh? Uh, we picked up a little distance, put the slowdown on him. Foo, these things are deadly. Go. We're getting there, yeah? Okay, I think I'll try for the stun. Stunned him. So we'll take a shot. Nice hit. Nice hit. Stand fast and put a burst in him. No, we'll take single shots. No, we'll put the slowdown on him. And we'll put the blast to him and he's done. Dead. Beautiful. Let our side power recharge. That was good though. Nothing but a tongue. Not getting nothing here. Take that mine shroom. Oh, are these devils, eh? Might well better reload that gun up. Click, clack. Miserable creatures. Eh? Ah! Okay, I think this calls for fire. Nope. <laughs> Gotta take some throwing skill. Alright, let's stimulate them up again. This time we got some distance. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, no! Oh, no! Ah, gosh dang it. You yeah, rotten brutes, eh? I stun one of them? Yep, they stun pretty easy, eh? Well, I guess they're soft-skinned amphibious filth creatures, eh? He went running off around that way, so... I'm gonna give that guy a blast, eh? Uh, didn't do much, and I'm gonna get out of here, right? Ooh, I burned myself a little. Right, he's all run into the fire, that's good. Him I'll put the slowdown on and run away from, right? Oh, turn off combat interactions, good idea, so I don't accidentally enter those remains or whatever. Let's try for the stun. Stunned, take a regular shot, take a regular shot. And boogie to here. Yeah. Put the slowdown on him. The other one's not going to be that far behind. So we'll go ahead and just take our shot and then we'll move to there. Now let's see if I can just machine gun him. Oh, absolutely bad plan. He's going to catch us now. He's still on slowdown, thank God. Okay. Uh, how are we doing here? We're just getting all we got. I don't have slowdown capacity. Keep going. This thing's gonna kill me. Oh, I'm a dead man. Oh, that thing is not in very healthy condition, is it? I could probably kill it. Reload this pistol rifle. Shoot it. Oh, crap, eh? Might kill me. Might not. Don't you dare siphon. Okay, what's my chances with the knife? Good. Got him. Beautiful. Reload that gun. Wow, if we ever been doing well in here, we're so lucky. Ah, more rotten body parts, miserable thing. I want to get something nice. Well, we got some siphoner leather. We can't really use it, but maybe later, right? That's actually the siphoner leather is a pretty nice find. I can't cry. Do I really want to push my luck harder in here? Oh, uh, you know, I better heal and psionic boost. Eh? Grab a bandage. That's applied, and then hit the old super toker here. We are. What kind of shape is our rifle in? 
223 out of 360, I'll go ahead and throw a kit on it right now. I want it to stay snifty. 433 out of 510, I won't bother. Okay. That went well. I'm actually shocked. We're, st we're stronger than anticipated, so I don't think there's any more of them there. They're all over in here, but we'll just keep looking, eh? Maybe we'll find something else. That dead man was a surprise to me. Oh, nobody up here. A little surprised by that, too. Oh, you know it. Oh, there they come, eh? Good, we got the drop. I'm gonna step back and try to set a fire. Might sploosh it. No? Oh, nice. Well, that is beautiful. See if I can get the stun. Applying resisted stun. That's disappointing, but we will just shoot at it and see which way it runs. Run off that way. And they don't heal unless they get you. I'll machine gun, because if I frost them... Yeah, I can just open up. I missed, but if I frosted at them, what would happen is... Uh, they would not be on fire anymore. So until they stop actual burning behavior, like right now frost them until after that I will frost them because of the massive accuracy of frost. I did him plenty of damage. He can't come through the fire now. He would literally burn to death so he's going to be coming the other way. So I'm going to just continue frosting him and try to finish him. With frost is a little expensive. Those psychic super tokers are not cheap. That's okay. Eh? Okay now I need to frost him and probably run the other direction. No, let's wait till he gets close. So I'll just take a shot at this point. Let's wait till he gets close, eh? And I'll frost him again. And I'll boogie across that fire, I guess. I am gonna get burnt a little. Not too badly. Yeah, he went around the fire. So we'll hit him with another frost, eh? Because now we're backed into a corner. So we definitely want to be uh, a little careful here. Let's see, what is my chance? Ah, uh, just go for it, right? Yeah, baby! Gotta love it. Oh, that's why reloading's been so slow. See why I didn't want to put on the waste pack? I did these whole combats without reloading capacity. Isn't that sad? Okay, let's see if there's anything here. Gee, nothing there, eh? Fascinating. Oh, we discover underwater rock bridge. Okay, let's go this way. We are going to grab all the mine shrooms and sell them to what's her face. <laughs> we need money. Okay. Around here. What? Nothing? I, well, you'd swear. I thought there was a secret right here. In fact, there's an obvious place for it. I guess we just don't have the perception. Well, maybe if I increase the light level here. Let's try it. No. But I thought that might be a helpful way to try to improve perception. Apparently it doesn't. So that's okay. Do we have any perception increasing foodstuffs? Detection by 15. Alright, go back. Okay, wait till we're, uh... Got the concentration on, and then eat that. Still got nothing. But we did eat a stuffed bat, so that's delicious. Alright, let's head out of here. So we might come back and look there, because I'm like 50-50 think there's a secret there. There might be. There might also be more of these snufflers. Snuffleupagus is evil cousin, eh? Safe in her tongue. It's still fresh, which will allow a skilled biologist to extract the potent anticoagulant that it produces. It weighs four, and we don't have biology on an intestine. A heart-shaped siphoner marking. It's a piece of siphoner skin containing a marking in the colors common to the creature, but in the shape of a heart. One point of experience for us. Any more remains? We did kill one or two others, I think. I think that's all the remains we're getting. Two more experience points, and we're there, but we're not there yet. I don't think there's any more siphoners left somehow. Maybe there's one over here. Let's go look. Nope, I think we got all the siphoners. And we've searched all their remains. Yeah. Well, I'm actually pretty impressed that we managed to do that. <laughs> I am really impressed. And we gained some experience. We didn't really pick up much treasure. So, now... Well, we can poke around and look for more experience in the area. Well, we could
could head back home. Well, we'll do both. We'll poke around in the area and head back home. Let's see what's going on in here, right? Nothing, apparently. This is where the Rat Hounds and Azira Day are on your way to Junkyard. I don't think... Oh, no, this is totally somewhere else. Oh, this is north of there. Okay. So there's some stuff we don't want to do, namely that. We'll do that later. I'm picking 40. Uh, yeah, if we pull out the jackknife, we can actually open that with a regular pick. That's kind of awesome. And there's a pneumatic reloader for a crossbow. Pneumatic automated crossbow reloader. Well, we might make a crossbow. The other locker is empty. Alright, we better get our gun back out, eh? Get the gun out. Okay. We will head south here. That's the crevice we peeked through from the other area. And there is a trapdoor. Oh, that doesn't seem like a safe thing at all, does it? Let's go in it. Alright. What's in here? Ooh, takes a while to load, eh? Uh, yeah, we can't hop across that. Something just walked past there. We need more agility for that. We need more uh, cape upper armor. Or it's seven agility. So I'm not sure what walked past there. I'm inclined to wait for it again. I'll definitely do a quick save. Let's try this door. Let's go in it and shut it behind us, right? Okay, that's another place to quick save. Okay, let's try this door. Lock picking 45. We can do it with the jackknife, I think. We do have a decent amount of Mark II picks, so let's go ahead, right? Nice. I wonder if I should be stealthed up in here? This, uh, you know, stealth is sort of comforting until you realize that there's uh, that movement point disadvantage with it, eh? Yeah, so I guess we'll just, you know, be kicking doors. Oh my god. Okay, three failed experiments. I have the feeling we've discovered the thing I've been looking for. 100 health, 100 health. Health. They appear to be standard mutants. Actually, somewhere between mutee and mutant. At 100 health, I can probably kill them with a bomb. Well, two of them, anyway. That might have been a waste of a bomb. Reload do that again. I'll use flames. I'll use flames. It's, it'll be better. Oh, they're better positioned. Okay, two of them are on fire. And the other one's... Apparently fine down there. I'll just take a shot or two at him. Because he might try coming through the flames. Alright, there we go. Now, other stuff may come through the door behind us, too. I kind of have to be aware that I just made a lot of noise, right? It's just... Ah, oh, I'm burning myself, eh? Oh, toot. I should have just used some psychic powers on him. Nobody's come from behind us yet. That's nice. Well, this time, don't burn yourself. So where's that one I was just shooting at? There he is. Let's see. I'll just blast him with the old frostings. The other ones are taking burn damage still. Have I got frost range on a burning one? Well, it doesn't matter. They're taking burn damage. Let them finish taking burn damage. Maybe your frost will be worth more, right? Oh, I think I just heard one of them hit the ground in there. Go back. Take a look. That one's still up. The other one's down. Let's see, do I have to step in the fire? No. I'll just go ahead. There we go. That drops the lot. Kind of nice. Just reload the gun. We're so little wounded that we're just rechanning. Alright. Alright, that's pretty cool, eh? Oh, it's still rather flamey in here. A torch? Ah, oh, fine, I'll take the torch. A crushed burrower. Fortunately, his insides are squeezed out the other end. I guess they shut this gate door on him. The failed experiments do not leave searchable corpses. Look down. Camera. Oh, there's another failed experiment walking around. So, okay, we know it's guarded anyway. A ladder down and a box. Hacking 35, I think we can do. Oh, we're like three points short. Can you believe that? That is sad. We suck. Let's try this next door, eh? Locked, period, basically. Alright, let's try going back this way then. No, I could creep into the vents. Uh, that's a thought. Uh, do I have enough skill to do these vent shafts without the jackknife? Because they do vary in challenge level. Maybe they don't vary in challenge level. 
actually no, I think they do vary in challenge level. But, uh, obviously we don't have the skill for that, so we'll just pop this. There we go. And I will get the gun back out, no idea what's in here. Okay. In we go. Mm, yeah, it probably isn't safe. Doesn't look very safe. Yeah, that doesn't go anywhere. Let's go down here. And this just looks out onto the corridor out there, yeah. Okay. Let's head this way. Got one here. That looks into the room we couldn't get into. So actually, that's exactly what we're about to do, isn't it? I wonder if we're going to end up with a bit too low of skill levels to exploit parts of this. I have a feeling that might be the way. We'll find out. Better grab the gun. Although I don't think there was anything in that room. Other than stuff. Yeah. Oh. oh, there's a camera that gets angry though. I wonder if that'll attract anything. There's a plasma cell on the ground. And a fusion cell and another fusion cell. So those are the big ones, the fusion cells, yeah. Oh, it's a huge one. 200 power plasma cell and 100 power fusion cells. Well, those are fancy things. Yes, they are. Shelves. So eight more fusion cells, some 31 quality uh, bump absorb padding, some starter mixture. It's not really worth all I will take it. Master key water treatment plant. Take that. Sniper rifle frame for a Corsair. 7.62, 8.6, 12.7 barrel capacity. We'll take that. Dagger mold. We'll take it for now. If we run out of weight, we'll think about that. That is locked at lock picking 50. There is a vent shaft leading in there. Making me think I might be able to get in. But not from this vent set, I don't think. No. I'll have to get round behind onto the other side of it somehow. We'll see. Because I think I want into that room. I mean, it's closed, so I want in. Hello, let's go in here. There's another vent shaft. Maybe that'll lead us where we need to go, eh? Let's try it out. Get the jackknife. Kadoot. And grab the old multi-tool. Omni-tool. Chclink, clank. I'm gonna risk it with no gun, probably get killed. Does this take us where oh god, Mutty! It's a dog named Mutty. I wish it wasn't hostile, because it has a name, it makes me feel sad, eh? Mutty is stunned, and we're gonna go chop Mutty a little. Oh yeah, Mutty, you're getting hackity dacked. Oh, this was probably where he was hide out and live, eh? Oh my god, I feel horrible. Well anyway, dead. But remains. Uh, mutated dog leather, we're not gonna bother. Did, not that it's not worth a little bit of money, but we can't really use it, and it's fairly heavy. I'm sorry, Mutty. I feel rotten. Anyway, we found a hidden ventilation shaft. Let's go in it, right? Oh, I better charge that knife. Quidip. There we go. So, hidden vent shaft. A dead death stalker. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. Crawler's eye. The muscles of the eye stalker are still twitching, making it squirm in your hand like a worm and... We leveled up. Oh, and the Death Stalker disappeared. The bugs crawling around our feet didn't. They'll move every now and then. And so, yeah, see, every now and then they move. Okay, well, let's keep looking around a little. It's pretty sweet. We got a room with a single failed experiment in it. Okay, we're gonna go in there, eh? We're gonna go say hi to him. And, uh, might as well restack those. Check everything else. I might as well put those back on where they belong. And grab out the rifle. I'm gonna be probably wanting that in about four seconds time. And we'll step in, eh? Hey buddy. Oh, he took a swing. Oh, he does nothing, man, the poor guy. Alright, so I got eighty one, so I'm just gonna cut him. Alright, let's finish our fight, buddy. He brought fists to a knife fight. We have a big knife contaminated the devil, so that all damage taken increased by 20%. That's two stacks of it, so I guess it's 10% per stack. That's the end of him. I don't know if I'll recharge the knife just yet, because we might need to chop one or two more other things, eh? Well, here we are in here. They don't leave corpses, or searchable corpses. A lockpick, a bipod, 
A machete handle. Empty. Some aluminized cloth. We'll take it. We're probably not using it. Lock picking 40. Again, we can do that with the jackknife, right? We are going to be taking lock picking up. But we can still do this with a Mark 1 pick as long as we have the jackknife on, so we'll do that. Some steel boots. These boots are made of steel. They are padded with soft foam. They have their little capacities there. Rathound leather boots. They smell. They're padded with soft foam. Another waste pack. An electronic repair kit. Okay. Locker. Utility belt. Batman style. Work coverall. Worker style. Fiber repair kit. An omni tool, which is eh, it doesn't weigh anything, and it's worth a very small amount of money, so we'll keep it. Or it doesn't weigh much. It weighs very, very little. Okay, so now we want to try to get into that vent shaft, right? So let's go back over. Hang on here. Oh my god, can we find the way in there? This must be it, eh? Yeah, it is. So we'll try and pop this one now. This is going well. We're just about out of stuffed bat. Detection increased by 15%. That's gone out. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the rifle back out for now. Where are we? Just you never know. Where is our rifle? Sort weapons. There's the rifle. Always got to remember to hit the sort button. Inventory gets mungled up pretty regularly by dumping stuff in it. Eat eep. That camera. Maybe I should go finish off that camera. Just, oh well, it's not going to do anything to me, is it? What's on the shelves? Ooh, look at all this. Shield emitter base. Electromagnetic deflector. A device used to deflect and redirect electromagnetic waves. It's most often used in creating cloaking field emitters. And it's just in our quality range. We don't know how to make a cloaking field emitter, but hey. Seeker lens, right in our quality range. Well, actually, yeah, right in our quality range. And a psychokinetics modulator. We'll just carry it, it's worth a buck. Now we got this power generator. That's probably what we're here for. Oh, a power box, eh? Power switch. Power generator. Says here that all doors with electronic locks will be disabled in case of a power outage. So I guess what we do is we go here and... Unlocked, eh? I love the little germ burnt noise. We shut down the Jenny. Okay, so... That is still a bit locked for us, right? So, what do we got left up on this level? Stuff. We definitely haven't done the whole level, have we? But I'm going to pull back out of this room and take us, I guess, back out of this vent shaft here into this room. And then we'd better look around the hallway out here, eh? That's probably our next... Uh-oh, uh hi. Yeah, failed experiment right there. Attempt the stun. Dow clawing, and then go with the chop, eh? Oh, he is dead. Okay, that's done. There's the ladder up. There's an HE mine there. So if we improve our trap skill a little... There's a cat somewhere in here. I can hear it purring. If we improve our trap skill a little, or I can just go step on the mine and then heal. I mean, that's an option. Let's, let's do it rough style. Oh, actually, if that door's open, I can just go around that way. Let's go. Oh, hey, look down. Oh. Ooh. Oh, my. Well, there's a lot of feller me lads down there, aren't there? Yes, there are. Alright, we won't bother shutting doors behind us. I don't think we have to worry about that kind of security in this place. However, we should probably save before we open this door. Let's go open it. Oh, yeah, look at them all. Look at them all. Okay, what I'm going to do is switch on combat interaction, shut the door, and back up and let them open it, right? Oh, well, they didn't bunch up. They Oh, oh they're going around each other, because the trap's in the way. Well, that works for me, right? I want my chances with burst. I'll just use single shot. I think we can finish him with single shot. Not quite. All right, let's book it. Boogie back a little. So okay, we're going to be just careful here. Try not to get hurt. Try not to waste too many rounds, right? I'm going to shoot him down. Oh, come on now. Should have used the knife, eh? That was a pretty amazing hit we just did. I guess these guys have, like, zero ability to resist anything. Poor creature.
pictures. Right, we'll use the knife on this one, eh? Right, he's down. Well, the next one's coming. Sorry, failed experiment. I guess it's the gun for this one. Okay, we'll just back it up. Oh, hey! There's more of them, eh? Well, I don't think they're gonna kill us. Contaminated. Yeah, that contaminated stacks. Now it's 50% increase in damage. I'm gonna step around behind these fellows and uh, shoot them. That's one. And I did some harm to the other one. It was probably a bit of a waste of bullets, but I was hoping to get them both. Oh my gosh, they're actually starting to do a little damage. You know, if these things mobbed you, you could get into some serious trouble. Reload the gun. Oh, how are we on healing potations? Nine of those, eight of those. I'll just take one of these then. It's all good. Wait for that contamination to come off of us, eh? Let's go look in their room. I will shut that door behind us. Actually, no, I don't think there's any need. Uh, we'll take it. Fragmore in case. Uh, you know, we do want to make stuff. Some good steel. Oh, we're overloaded. Okay, what have I got that's trash or recyclable right now? I got some recyclable armor. Let's get recycling. So that's worth very little money and weighs a lot. That's worth very little money and weighs a lot. That's worth virtually no money and weighs a little. That's worth a good amount of money. That's worth virtually no money and weighs a fair bit. Okay, let's check the value on these boots. Okay. Neither of those are very high value. Uh, no, nor is that. And that one's really heavy. So we're going to pull down all these boots. We're just going to shred everything, basically. And then we're going to shred all these cheap knives real quick. Just going to cut them up. Some of them might be out of our ability range. I say I'm going to shred them all, but I could get stymied. And then I'll shred the absolute worst of these guns, which is this one on 675. Now, how many scrap have we got? 150. Um, we want 160. So let's go for the next worst gun. It's this one. For it. Create. What about this thing? Yeah, it's worth more. Okay, so yeah, we got enough scrap of whatever. We can't do advanced kits yet, so let's just. We made three fabric kits, and we can make four mech kits. I'm going to put a mech kit on the rifle right now. Oh, that was a waste. Well, it's done. And our weight's back down rather well, eh? So, next set of shelves. Empty. A barrel. Ten uh, five mil casings. Eight books. Another vent shaft. Locked hacking 35. We'll be able to do that after we level up, I guess. I should stand beside the box to remind me. So I will shut these things. I am curious enough about what's inside this vent shaft that I have got a cold look, actually. Because I don't remember there being a vent shaft looking in here, or do I remember there being a vent shaft looking in here and pop in? No, I don't. Let's go and get jumped by something. Oh, okay. It just leads to here, which is yeah, out there. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. This whole thing was to get around the stupid HE mine, wasn't it? All right, grab the gun back out. Two, 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 gun, gun, gun. Those menus drive me nuts. Okay, let's put a charge in our knife right now. Let's do that. We do. Oh well, at least one battery charges the piece of junk. Okay. And it's actually been a good knife, so we can open that box. Oh, I see. Leap over agility nine, and here I chewed up that cave hopper armor that would have taken us to eight anyway. So I got no way to get in with the kitty cat. Little kitty cat in there. We can't get to the kitty cat. No, we can't get to the kitty cat. No kitty cat for us. But there's a ladder down over here that is accessible. And that'll take us to that heavily guarded zone down there. So that's good. Now I don't want to be standing around all these bodies. It's kind of yicky. So I'll go where I can hear the nice kitty cat. Yeah, the nice kitty cat. We'll save our game in all of our little saving slots. Boy, this went well. We'll save in all our little saving slots. I hope you guys had a good time today. <laughs> Susan knows I'm finishing. I heard her jump up. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.